G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Zen to the newest beta firmware and also how to download the newest version of Zen Studio. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is make sure your device is registered. This is something you should have done when you first got the Zen. This isn't going to be a tutorial on how to register your device, so go to this website here, the link will be in the description, and get that done if you haven't already. Once you have that done, what you're going to do is plug your Zen into your PC or laptop the same way you normally do when you're putting a script on or something, so that's going to be with the mini USB that plugs into the right side of the Zen. Once that's connected, what you want to look at is the bottom right corner down here you'll see your zen serial number you want to highlight that one and give that one a copy and then what you want to do is join the official Chronos Zen Discord. If you're not in that one already, there'll be a link to that in the description of this video. Okay, now once you're in the official Chronos Zen Discord, what you want to do is come to this channel here. It's right at the top. It's called Chronos Registration. It'll look a bit like this. You need to read this part here. It tells you exactly what you need to do, but it's quite easy. So what you want to do is come down to the bottom. We're going to go dot R E G space and then you're going to paste the zen serial number that we just copied before once you've done that you'll get a little message welcoming you to the chrono zen community i've already done it but just to give you an example it'll probably tell you see i'm already a zen owner it tells me i'm already registered that's already been done once you're registered in the discord what you're going to do is scroll down the channel section here all the way to the bottom now, what you're going to see is this Chronosend open beta section. You're not going to see all these channels. You're only going to see the welcome one. All right, so you're going to click the welcome one and then click join the beta. Once you've done that, all the other channels here will show up. You want to click resources and then you want to click the Zen Studio uh, option here, which is going to download the new Zen Studio for you. If by the time you come to this one, there's a new version down here or something, just make sure you're downloading the most recent version is what I'm saying here. If you're not sure, just click here and that'll download it. Say download anyway, and that'll download as normal. Install it like you normally would with anything on your PC. Okay, so to update the firmware of the Zen, you're going to need to have the firmware update tool. You should have this on your PC already from when you first got the Zen. If you don't, you come to this website. I'll leave a link in the description and you want to download this one here, the Collective Minds Update Tool. Like I said, it may also be on your PC. So if you just search for it, CM Update let's see him update tool looks a bit like that you just want to open that one there now to update the firmware of the zen we need to use the micro usb that's the one that plugs into the back of the zen so plug that one into the back of the zen the other end into your laptop or pc it's still probably going to say no devices found so what you want to do is hold the little blue button on the bottom of your zen until something pops up i'll do that now so there we go we heard some sounds and then now it pops up so to do this we're going to click on this one we're going to uncheck this and before you go to the beta one which is this one up here what you want to do is come all the way down to the bottom click this one the first one click continue and begin update let that do its thing and there we go now you've updated the firmware down to the first one ever what we're going to do is do this again so hold the blue button on the bottom that will again bring this up we're going to click it Go here and make sure we choose the top one here and continue. Whatever the top version is, whatever the most recent version is, that's what we're going to use and begin update. Again, let it go through its thing. Update complete. And there we go. That's all done. You can now close that. Now that you've updated to the most recent firmware, what we want to do is perform a hard reset on the Zen. It's very simple. You want to get the cable that plugs into the back of your Zen, right? Before you plug it in, what you want to do is hold these two buttons, the two blue buttons that are on the Zen here, hold those down. So however you want to hold it, that's one button, two buttons. As you're holding those down, you want to plug this one in at the back. And it's hard to show, but there will be, the Zen will show three colors. It'll be red, blue, green, or red, green, blue. That's when you know you've done your hard reset. Okay, so now you've got the newest version of Zen Studio, and you've also updated your Zen to the most recent firmware. There's still one more thing that we need to do, and I'll show you how to do that now. So what you want to do on your keyboard is you want to press the Windows key and the letter R. This will bring up something like this. You want to do percentage and app data, that one there. So A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, and then the percentage sign again, and then click OK. This will bring up something like this. You want to go through and find the Chronosend beta folder, and then just delete that one. It's open in Zen Studio, so let me quickly close that. Chronosend beta, delete. Give it its time. Delete. There we go. Okay, that's what you need to do and then close quite simple and there we go so that's everything i wanted to go through i've seen a few people struggling with this so i wanted to make a quick video that explains it all so that way you can get it done quickly and get into gaming and enjoying these new scripts so if you have any questions ask them in the comments cheers for watching and i'll see you next time